Good morning, friends. This is Sandy with Mimi's Abundant Life. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Um, I believe it's today or tomorrow will be the first day of fall, and I am really looking forward to it. We have some uh, humid weather that we're getting rid of, but it's only going to be in the 50s, dry and cool on the by the end of the week. So I'm really looking forward to that. Having said that, I had an idea. Um, it's just something that came to me as I was sorting through and organizing um, for shelf temper. So what I'm doing is not only cooking from what I have on my shelf, but I'm organizing, restocking, um, and reevaluating everything in my house that is on a shelf. So I'm really um, purging a lot of things and rearranging and just getting more organized. It was a very hot summer, and some of these things just weren't tended to. So, um, my idea was if you are looking for some different recipes, okay, or I would like to say if you are craving uh, something from your favorite restaurant and you know what prices the way they are in the economy, gas, gasoline, um, food prices, it can be challenging. I think easily if two people went to Applebee's for something basic like hamburger fries, maybe a soda reach or something. I bet you that could be 50 bucks. Okay? Easy. Um, not to mention other restaurants. If you want to call for a pizza, you're talking 20 bucks. Okay? Now, yes, we can make everything from scratch. Yes, we can. Sometimes we need a break and we need a treat. So, where do you draw the line? You're craving something from your favorite restaurant. Um, money's tight. Gasoline, it has to be used for necessary errands and to go to and from work, take the kids to school. So what do you do? Well, I came across this and I will show you what this is. This is a menu from a restaurant um, and they have a lot of good things in here. Like sometimes I just kind of crave a uh, food delivery from them. And what I did was I went through there to try to get some different ideas on um, different things that I could make and I could copycat this very easily. So instead of always a cookbook, which could get a little mundane, um, they're not going to have all your favorite um, restaurant foods in it. But if you can go through a menu, a takeout menu, and get some ideas. I mean, my goodness, you could tell by looking at some of the pictures how they made it. Um, wouldn't that be great if we could recreate some of our favorite meals with items that we have in our own house based on our favorite restaurants? So it is a good idea to have some takeout menus aside um, just to give you some ideas and um, get your brain going and spice it up a little bit so that we're not eating the same thing um, over and over, day in and day out. We don't get tempted to um, hop in the car and go out to eat, unless, of course, that's what you want to do. But there are food shortages, and the restaurants are feeling it too, which is going to drive their prices even higher. So with everything considered, I think, in my opinion... I am going to go to a couple more of my favorite restaurants in my state and I'm going to get them takeout menus. I'm just going to politely ask them for a menu and I'm just going to keep them. And sometimes when I'm meal planning or menu planning and I don't know what I'm going to make, I'm going to go right through here and I'm going to pick out what am I in the mood for? Am I in the mood for Chinese, Italian? Do I want pizza? Do I want this? Do I want that? What kind of sub do I want? And I'm going to get some ideas and I am going to recreate as closely as I can something from the menu based on what I have in my house. So if you don't have cookbooks and you don't have the money to buy them, just go around to a few of your favorite restaurants and pick up some takeout menus. They're free and, um, you know, it, it's just something that they offer their patrons. So why not? And then someday... If, when, if and when things straighten out and you feel like you want to get a treat, you can honor them back and um, you know patronize them back by either ordering out from their establishment or from sitting and dining in. 
So it's just something that came to my mind. I don't know if anyone's ever thought of this before. I have no idea. Um, I'm not, I'm just not, um, just not boarding it out. It just really is an idea that I had. And um, I am going to implement this into my shelf timber cooking and reorganization. Folks, I really hope that you like this idea. If you like my video, please, you got to smash that like button. Everybody needs to hit that button and hit that subscribe button too so you can become part of my community. My channel is growing and I want to keep it going. Take care, everyone. I love you all and God bless.